today we are going to look at some battle dome challenger hunting so i'll be splicing in some footage because in my nighttime activities i was bored and felt like doing some battle dome hunting so i'm going to put some voiceover over that to talk about it but there is this list on jelly neo um, that lists all the active battle dome challengers some of these are already in your list some of these are random events some of these are special activities some of these are just a click away and you can get them right now so let's go have a look at the process for probably about 25 percent of getting some of these battle dome challengers so this all started because i decided i wanted commander guru and he is someone you need to refresh for at the Virtue Pet Station. When you get bored, go play some Dice Root, then go back to refreshing. And it is very easy to miss the event, so I didn't even realize I got him, and boom, there he is, hiding in my Battle Dome list. Some of these other ones are pretty easy. This is a random event. I already had him in my list, but here is what that random event would look like. Fairly common, I would say. Cybunny Scout is another easy click away. Here is another random event, but it is not currently unlockable. I am just honestly blasting through these. Here's another one. This is the old Lost Desert plot, so kind of cool that this is still live. But you just click and boom, there he is. Another, just click. This is an old new features page, so still there, still cute. That one is not currently available, RIP. Some of these are going to just be already in your list, and I'm just double checking. I clicked through every single one. This one is, I already had, but that is what the page looks like. Just wanting to document that. This one, you need to search for that term and then refresh on that search results page. It didn't take me too terribly long to get this one. Ta-da! And then this one confused me at first. Uh, my first thought process, okay, so look at this collectible card. So I decided to go look at the item entry and no dice. So then my next thought was, okay, let's go buy it. Let's see if we can find it. It wasn't organically in the shop, but I have been casually collecting TCG cards, BT dubs, but it is a fairly affordable card at 2,500. And then right before you about to stick it in your deck, there it is. He just pops right up. And if you want, go ahead, stick it in your Neo deck. That's what I did. Labre, this was my sign right here, is that it's time for me to price and buy a Labre. I think a Labre map, like this, this was the big sign. Like here's another piece. I have four out of nine pieces. So that video will be coming soon. Then this is another super easy one, just a click away. There it is, hot damn. These guys, this was another confusing one. Like I refreshed here for a little while and then I needed to go check my list so I didn't actually capture this one, but there it is. And here's another simple click away, immediate payoff, boom. So that one is still not active, bummer. Automatic challenger. This one, another easy one, just one click away. One day, one day we'll fight Punchback Sid. This is one I already had, but just wanted to kind of document the page that it is supposed to live on. I think this one will pop up pretty easy for you. That one, still haven't gotten. That one, I've gotten the Shadow Usul random event. For this one, you do need to purchase the Slug Flakes, which is a relatively affordable item. You can also find it stocked in the regular food shop. But yeah, get in your inventory and happy refreshing. Ta-da! This one, I did not have any luck refreshing, so I think I'm going to hit it harder again when the advent calendar is actually active in the month of December. This one is going to be weird because I think I need to tr find a means to buy an item to enter a code. 
This is another one that is going to be just luck based. Um, you have to be there when it's raining in Marqua. So just kind of checking in whenever you think about it, looking at the weather pages and seeing if it's correct. And then this one is another easy one. Just refresh here in this old ass page, which is kind of cool that this still exists. And I guess the Deep Catacombs does still exist for the, that was part of the fairy festival plot but they didn't use it even though it's still here, but whatever, but another super easy one. So now that we have collected a lot of these battle dome challengers, some of these challengers come with avatars if you beat them. So the first one that is probably pretty easy to beat is the black terry where is it that is 89 and that that's if you're at that intermediate stage of um, your battle dome journey if you've hit maybe you know strength 100 level 45 or earlier if you're brave and have some good um, healing items but he's not too bad so i'll just give him a quick fight i am at level 50 so i have a lens flare which does help a lot i'm not gonna lie Okay, and then nothing will pop up on this screen. I've already done my dailies for the day, but there's nothing that'll pop up here. Where it will pop up is on your avatar list under your preferences and uh, neoboard preferences. So if you scroll all the way down, there you go, Black Terry here. I snuck him in before I finished out my fairy festival activity, so that is why he's up here. So let's move on to our next one. Our next one is Kasuki Lu, which we also had to get him from a, we had to buy his uh, TCG card in order to even get him as a challenger. But now we can fight him and get an avatar. I'm going to go ahead and use, since he's a lower level, he should be pretty easy for you to beat if you've done a little bit of training. And I'm going to heal up for my next one. One shot at him. Awesome. Do a new fight. And then we're going to go check our page and see what appears. Just to make sure we get him. There it is. We got a he yeah. He yeah. Okay, and then okay, our next contender is Muka. Muka Muka, there he is, and he is at 60 on easy, so another somewhat easy one. So it looks like that Black Terry was the one you might have to do a little extra training for um, in order to get him. But if you follow me every day, you've likely been doing your Battle Dome training too. Well, I hope you would, just to get the, those sweet, sweet um, item drops. Okay, we knocked him out. All right, and let's go double check what that avatar is, and what that looks like. And there we go, that one is something. So the other ones we could get is you will randomly get the Battle Fairy avatar. Um, looking at Reddit, some people were saying even if you did do the daily, uh, do Battle Dome as a daily for two years, like that's how long it's taken some people. And then the Space Fairy was just a very difficult challenger to get and to begin with. So that one's going to be a bit tougher. I'm going to have to do some noodling on how I want to acquire her. And then Punch Bag is when you lose to Punch Bag Sid, but Sid only appears randomly in the battle dome so that one's gonna just that one's a tough one all around because it's completely random for Sid to take over punch bag Bob's space oh okay so I decided to look and it looks like I already sneakily got the battle fairy avatar uh, sometime between doing my 20th Judora's quest and doing the number six avatar cool I hate those sneaky avatars because it is kind of easy to um, just miss out like I'm not checking my avatar count on my profile every day so it looks like I got that one so I can cross it off my list that's nice all right well good luck with your battle dome challenger hunting and good luck with your avatar collecting may the luck neo luck gods be ever in your favor and i will catch you next time bye